How the RC friends welcome to Props and Wheels. We are now in the second half of November 2020. As the days are getting colder and darker, there are less opportunities to fly RC airplanes outside, which gives me a chance to start working on my build projects. So here I have another one. My last project was the Hobby King Dolphin. And now I have a new project which is the Dragonfly from Banggood. It is also an EPP foam airplane with 700 millimeter wingspan, which corresponds to about 28 inches. So when I got this one, this was selling for $33.65 and the shipping was very cheap. I bought other things and the shipping cost less than $3 with the other things. So when it arrived, this box had, uh, unfortunately, this uh, big rip and I was worried about it. So let me show you what is, what it, how it looks like inside. Everything was fortunately was inside, nothing fell out. There are not too many pieces as you can see. I'm going to go through them. Uh, but this project is going to be probably three episodes, three parts, perhaps four. In this first episode, I'm going to do the unboxing, show you everything inside the, the box. And then I'm going to go through the parts that I'm planning to use on this, like what motor, what ESC, the servos, the prop and everything. And I, I'm also going to tell you how much this project is costing me. Of course, the price have changed since I purchased this uh, the second half of September. So it has been about two months. At that time, this was less than $34. And now it's ridiculous, almost like $68 and the shipping has increased as well, like to five, six dollars. So I don't know what's going on. Probably this became really popular and I'm hoping it's a good plan and that's the reason it got popular. But uh, I would have expected the price to stay the same or even go down since now we are entering the winter months. But maybe everybody's thinking like me, okay, this is winter time and I'm going to start building. Well. Nevertheless, I'm going to go through the whole thing in the first episode and in the second episode I'm going to show you the a detailed video of the build. The third episode is going to be hopefully the maiden flight and if it goes well, it will be the last episode. If there needs to be any improvements that I have to do on the model, probably I'll make a fourth episode with the corrected CG, corrected uh, prop size and all that. So please stay tuned for that. With further ado, let's get started to show you what is inside the box. This is a very simple and basic model. As I mentioned, this is EPP form. EPP stands for Expanded Polypropylene. Polypropylene is a plastic, thermoplastic, that is used in milk jug bottles and probably also many other items like your food containers that you save food inside. And the part count in this kit is very low. One thing that I didn't like is the instruction manual is in Chinese. I'm glad they are using numerals in English so I can make out what, you know, what I need to do in terms of the, you know, the battery size and motor size and all that. And they also included pictures so this is going to help me to decipher what I need to do next. But even without the instructions, I think it is pretty straightforward as I mentioned low part count you know the hinges are foam hinges so this has a, this is a four channel airplane it's you are going to need four servos two aileron servos one for each wing they already cut out the spaces for that and then one servo for the elevator and another servo for the rudder so properly turning airplane four channel airplane and of course the last channel is for the motor. The fuselage is all one piece put together already. And you just have to put a little metal piece so that it will stick to this magnet. And of course there's a hardware bag which includes the motor mount as well as the pieces that are needed to assemble the landing gear. And of course like two little foam wheels and all the hardware that you need to connect your servos to your control surfaces. And then they have provided also the long, long, longer control rods, so elevator and rudder, as well as two 
flat carbon spars. I'm assuming these are going to go into the wing, to the bottom, into these channels to reinforce the, the wings. And all in all, it is very simple basic kit. I think it deserves the price of $33. It doesn't definitely deserve the $68 price tag that is currently selling for or listing for on Banggood, in my opinion, but I may be wrong. It may be a fantastic flyer. So maybe there's, you know, supply demand determines its price. Maybe it's so good that people really want to buy it and pay $68. Personally, I wouldn't pay that much amount of money for a foam airplane like this one. Very simple, basic airplane. But it deserves a $33, $34 price tag. Now moving on to the parts that I'm planning to use. So here are the parts and I'm also going to give you the prices, how much I paid at the time of purchase for these. I didn't purchase everything at the same time, so the price may have changed, but it will give you an idea. And most of these parts, uh, I purchased them from Banggood, because they have right now the best prices. The motor, the ESC, the FR Sky or Free Sky receiver, the gold connectors for the for connecting the ESC to the to the motor four nine gram servos these have been purchased from Banggood and I purchased the battery from Hobby King and I also purchased five by five inch propellers from Banggood unfortunately for the life of me I cannot find them so I pulled this out of my box of propellers I'm going to start with this if I find the five by five propellers probably they will be better suited for for this plane I'm going to replace that but this is a 7x4 uh, so but I'm going to l give you the price of the props that I purchased so let's start from this side and I, I will tell you the price of each component and you will see the total here this is the recommended 1806 this is the size of the uh, motor and it's a 2280 kV, so they're recommending 2300 kV, so that's pretty close. This is the Race Star brand motor. It's a tiny motor, but I guess uh, it is enough. Uh, it feels really nice and high quality. So this cost me, without the, I'm going to give you the price without the shipping, 788. And then, this is a 12 amp ESC with a JST connector. That's what I needed because I'm planning to use JST connector battery. So it matches. Good. This cost me $11.99 from Banggood. Of course, with this one, I'm going to need also the gold bullet connectors. Now, this doesn't have the connector, so I will be using only one. But this already came, the ESC already came with the 2 millimeter bullet, gold bullet connectors. So I'll be using only the male part of this, these three. But that's okay, I included the cost of that as well, as well. 42 cents per set times three. And then for the receiver, I'll be using this four channel free sky uh, receiver that I got from Banggood. I need to do some soldering because as you can see, the board and the pins are not connected but my soldering iron is ready. So there's some soldering if you buy one of these. And that cost me $6.99 because there was, uh, they were on sale. If you bought three of them, you got some discount. So it cost me $6.99. And then these are the nine gram servos that have been using on all my non-essential or non-critical uh, flying airplanes like park flyers, slow flyers. Of course, I wouldn't use them in you know, precision aerobatic airplanes, but these are good for park flyers. Actually, they are perfect. And they only cost $1.43 times four. I added that one as well. And as I mentioned, uh, I don't have my props that I ordered from Banggood, but they cost me that those were five inch by five inch props, electric airplane props. Each cost $2.33. Instead, I will be using this one unless I find the props that I ordered from Banggood. They are hiding somewhere in our basement. I don't know where. And then 
these are just some sh uh, shrink tubing for the bullet connectors once I solder those bullet connectors at the end of the wires of the motor I'm going to do that so this don't I already had these so just long strip I cut like three short so almost nothing or maybe a couple cents worth of money and then finally the battery I'm planning to use this uh, 2 cell 2s 460 milliamp hour uh, nanotech turnage nanotech battery from Hobby King and this cost me four dollars and 83 cents actually I, I purchased two but I'm going to give you the price for one just bare minimum that you need to build this airplane as a bind and fly configuration with the with the battery so if you have a radio that's compatible with your receiver then this is this cost is going to what you, you, need, you need to expect to uh, what you need to expect to spend in order to get this uh, airworthy and then the plane itself it, by the, at the time I was buying it was $33.65 the kit the dragonfly kit at Banggood so the total is $74.65 now the shipping at that time was very minimal um, I don't know I cannot separate the shipping because I purchased these within many different orders but I will say, you know, total, I probably paid around $10. So let's make this 75 and then add another $10 for shipping. For $85, you will have everything you need minus, of course, the, the glue and the solder and all that to get this project built. And I'm planning to use my Radio Master TX16S. So what I'm planning to use in terms of building supplies are these. I want this to be a quick build. I'm not going to spend as much time as I spent on my Hobby King Flying Dolphin. I spent several days because I was using Gorilla Glue, clear Gorilla Glue, to make it a nice and flexible bond. And I took my time on that one. And because I really cared that it was built correctly. So it took a couple nights, like four or five nights to finish it. This one I'm planning to build within like one or two nights, just in one or two sittings. And for that, I'll be using mainly my hot glue. This is a smaller model. It doesn't have big areas to glue together. So I can work quickly using the hot glue you know one disadvantage of hot glue is that it starts cooling down very quickly so you don't have much time to work on the on the piece that you are gluing together and i'm using this uh, super low temperature hot glue because i don't want to melt the, the plastic for a couple pieces perhaps the engine mount as well as the landing gear i may be using this five minute epoxy it says quick setting time four to six minutes I may use this one and of course I'm going to need my soldering iron and I think that's going to be it so one last comment as I mentioned this is going to cost me about $85 uh, bind and fly with the one battery and if this battery is too small I have other batteries waiting to be used maybe something heavier maybe a little bit more juice this is 950 milliamp hour 2 cell 2s battery again JST connector I can use this one or I have this 800 milliamp hour batteries as well depending on the needs of the plane in terms of CG in terms of power requirements in terms of flight time uh, I have some flexibility here so you may ask is this going to be an airplane that's going to be worth 85 spending 85 dollars and one or two nights to build um, I'm not sure we have to wait and see and uh, that's going to be soon hopefully but you know just to give you an example I love I absolutely love this airplane this is FMS Ranger 850 millimeter wingspan and this was plug-and-play and it was on sale about a month ago uh, for uh, less than hundred dollars usually these sell I think hundred thirty hundred thirty five dollars there was a fall to savings sale in Horizon Hobby and I grabbed one of these and uh, the shipping was free as well through Horizon Hobby no tax. So I paid $97 for this 
and I put like a really inexpensive receiver and I love flying this. This is a perfect park flyer, 850 millimeter wingspan, larger than this uh, Dragonfly. I don't know if Dragonfly will be able to live up to this kind of quality and flight characteristics. We will see together. So will it be worth spending and $85 versus just spending a little more and getting something like this? I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, please stay tuned for the next episode when I'm going to start building this Dragonfly 700mm wingspan EPP low wing airplane. And it's, it's called a trainer airplane. We'll see about that as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below in the comment section. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.